Hey guys, time for another play along video with Mrs. Steck. I've got the flute today for this video. Um, we're on page 11 in your Tradition of Excellence uh, technique book, and we're going to be learning quite a few new concepts about rhythm this morning. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go through and explain just a few things um, in the counting for line 36 rhythm time. Okay, so notice that in this um, we have a different number on the top of our time signature or our meter. Okay, so right now there's a two on the top of the four. So this means that um, there are two beats in every measure. So remember that the top number means how many beats are in a measure. The bottom note is what kind of note gets a beat. So a quarter note still gets a beat. That means a half note still gets two beats, but we cannot use whole notes anymore because a whole note has four beats in it and the most we can have is two. So I'm just gonna go through and write in the counting for this. Now I should never have more than two in my counting. Okay, so I've got one, two, one dash two, and you can see every time I get to a new slash where those that's for the bar line, then I have to start over in my counting. One, two, one, and then two in parentheses to show that rest. One, two, one, two. Now here's something that's a little bit tricky. I'm gonna ignore this for just a second. I'm just gonna keep counting like normal. So I've got another quarter note next. One, two, one dash two. And then I see that there's a repeat at the end. So I'm gonna do this whole thing twice. All right, remember that we have just come off of learning something called a slur in music. Um, with that, uh, the slur, what it means is we're gonna change pitch or notes on the instrument, but we're not gonna use the tongue to separate those notes, okay? So, but we get two different sounds because we have two different pitches or two different notes. Now, we're not going to use the tongue in between two notes. The symbol still means the same thing, but we're not going to change notes. So that was going to sound like just one longer note. And I can show that. Remember over here, we did like that the half note gets one, beats one through two. This one's a little confusing because you get beats two through one because they wrap around. Um, so that's a little bit confusing. So this is why we're gonna clap count this one, but you've got one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And when we play it on the flute, ba, 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 ba. Okay, clapping and counting this one. All right, here we go. With the metronome clap and count number 36. One, two, here we go. One, two, 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 one, repeat. One, two, 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 off. Okay. There's nothing to put in for the notes because um, it wants us, when we play this now, to play everything on the note C. Okay, so we're going to play on the note C. Everything is a C. And I'm going to minimize this so that we can have smart music up. All right. A little bit slower. All right, and here we go. Two, ready. I'm sorry that this didn't show, it's not showing the first quarter note and I don't know why. Um, it just is how it is sometimes. Okay, let's do this with the accompaniment and we'll do it one more time. Two, ready. <laughs> the pit. 
pitch. I'm going to pull my head joint out just a little bit. Okay, we're going to take that same rhythm and we're going to go on to the next. I should go ahead and change that real quick. Okay, so two step has the same rhythm as number 37 rhythm time. Okay, so we've got one, two, a new note A, which we'll go over here in a minute. One dash two, one, two. Now this is a slur because it changes notes. So we're still not gonna use the tongue, but you're gonna get two different notes. Okay, so when we clap it, we're gonna clap two different notes. And we've got one, two, one, two, again, a slur. One, two, dash, one, because we have the tie. Slur changes notes, tie ties across the same pitch. Okay, two, one, dash, two, and then we repeat. Okay, let's clap and count with our metronome. And a one. Two, here we go. One, two, 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 one, repeat. One, two, 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 off. Okay, going over the notes. We have B flat, B flat, and then new note A. I'll go over that fingering once I get through uh, through naming all the notes. B flat, C, D, E flat, D, C, B flat. Oops, I'm gonna wait for me. And that ties across to the B flat. We just hold that note then A again, and back to B flat. Okay. So we know all of the notes up to that point. So we've got B flat, C, D, um, E flat. We just add the pinky to D. Then back down C, and then B flat. We put the thumb and the thumb on the left hand and the pointer finger on the right hand. And then when we go down to A, a is everything, so the pinky is down on the right hand. Everything else is up except for the pointer on the right hand, the middle finger on the right hand, and then the thumb on the back. And it should sound like this. Now, this is a fairly low note on the flute. It might be kind of hard to get. You have to think really light, um, lots of air, but like really foggy, um, slow air. If you blow hard and pucker the lips, you can go a higher A. But we want that lower one for this piece. Okay, let's go through. And if you've had a chance to write those down, then awesome. Otherwise, pause the video, go back. Let's go through just the fingerings with this one while it plays. Here we go, fingerings only. B flat, B flat, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, B flat, B flat, B flat, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, B flat. Okay. If you need to go in, in, like in between the video, pause things and just practice doing A to B flat. If I lean back, then that's fine. You can pause the video and practice your new note, okay? <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and keep moving forward. These are all gonna go onto YouTube, so remember that you can play with the tempo and make them any tempo you please, okay? Here we go. Two, ready. Okay, and 
just as a reminder, we've talked about this thing called a key signature before. This means that unless there's a different marking that cancels it, all Bs in the piece are B flats, and then all Es in the, the piece are E flats. So we are not going to have to worry about learning a new note except for A. Okay, so we just have B flat and E flat still. All right, let's turn the account on and do that one more time. Two, ready. <laughs> Going on to the next. And again, you can always stop and go back with the video. I'm going to go ahead and clear all of these notes so that I can move things up. We're going to do one more in this video. We're going to go through this piece, um, Sight Reading Challenge. It's a song called uh, Shoe Fly Pie, an old American folk song. Okay, so just the counting first. We have a lot of ties in this. Those can be confusing. Remember that you can just count the quarter notes, just find the quarter notes, don't worry about the tie, one, two, one, two, and then you can go back and put the tie in. So this ties across the bar line, so it's two dash one, then we've got one, two, one dash two, one, two dash one, two, one, two, one dash two, one, two dash one, two, one, two, <clears throat> one dash two, make that dash a little longer. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, and our two last one here is a rest, so I'll put it in parentheses. Okay, clapping and counting number 38. Ready. Oops, there it goes. One, two, here we go. One, two, 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 one. Next line. One, two, 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 one. Rest. Okay, and there's no repeat on this one. This is the first piece that we've had um, ever since we did Jingle Bells where we have two lines of music. So we just have to read it just like a line of text in a book and just go left to right, then drop down left to right again. And if we had more, um, eventually we'll get to where we have whole pages of music and you just keep reading left to right straight down the piece just like you would reading in English um, in a book, okay? <clears throat> Let's go through the notes. We've got D, B flat, that ties across to this other B flat, then C, D, E flat, C, C, A, our new note, that ties across to another A. So we just hold it for two beats, then B flat, C, D, B flat, and we've got D, and I hope that my stuff doesn't run together too much. B flat ties across to another B flat. That's a flat. C, D, E flat. Down to C. Then F, 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 E flat. I'm sorry that the text is kind of wonky because there's so much tight stuff together. And then B flat down at the bottom. Okay, 
So pause the video, you can write that in your book. If you're getting to the point where you have this mostly memorized, maybe don't write it in your book for a couple of times. And if you find that there's one note or two notes that you um, have a hard time remembering, maybe the new note A, you can write those in. So we're kind of like gradually weaning ourselves away from having to write in the book all the time. But if you, if you need it, you can still do it. And your, your mind will start to connect that as we go. Repetition will make it all happen, okay? So if you still need it, go ahead and do it. All right, here we go. We're gonna do uh, go through doing just the fingerings as things play for us. I'm gonna bump the tempo down. You can, again, if you're using the YouTube video, you can go ahead and take this down even further if you need to. I'm gonna go at 80 for all of my videos from here on out. Here we go. Two, ready, D, B flat, C, D, E flat, C, C, A, B flat, C, D, B flat, D, B flat, C, D, E flat, C, F, 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 E flat, D, C, B flat. And sorry, my cursor was in the way for that one. Okay, here we go. No accompaniment, and we're going to try playing through. Here we go. <clears throat> Two. Ready? this song before shoe fly don't bother me shoe fly don't bother me if you haven't then that's okay we'll learn it together let's turn the accompaniment on and do it again two ready American folk traditional music. All right, guys, that is the end of our video for this morning. Um, keep in tune because we're going to have more from page 11 another time. I will see you all later.